Jamaican entertainment industry has a cowboy culture, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's a free for all vibe where professionalism is not the norm. Um, I've been very impressed with the level of professionalism and promptness that you have. Uh, where did you learn the importance of being professional when conducting business? When I realized that it worked, <laughs> and when I realized that if you don't professional, you can be exploited. You can and you will be exploited, and you will not be respected. So when you're professional, you, you set a standard for yourself, and that is super important because in Jamaica, the worst thing is you, you want to align yourself with corporate brands. You cannot align yourself with corporate brands and then they're late. You, you, you turn up late, you know, carry yourself properly, but moving to California and seeing the people that do, the, do it, seeing the people that make money from it, there are things that I am like a sponge, so I am going to try to emulate that. So I am realizing that having a stylist, um, being on time. On time. Super important. On time. <laughs> on time. I am telling. Yeah, so working, there are certain characteristics, like an artist. I don't think you can escape an artist being on time. I think they're probably going to most of the time be late. But I can promise you this, Assassin is not going to be late. Shaggy is not going to be late. Sean Paul is not going to be late. Um, if you realize the caliber artists, all, right. them, all the top performing people, artists, that is not late. They're and not. like I kind of, I eased off the reggae thing for numerous reasons. One, I don't want to get into it too deep, but a lot of people's perception of themselves and the ego way precedes what they're capable of doing and people don't understand their place in the ecosystem mm -hmm. you know the names you have mentioned are into like international, international cosmic <laughs> artists yeah right and they're on time extremely professional and respectful people but then you have an and they're fun people and fun people then you have a next person that don't nobody know i'm outside of jamaica not even Jamaica Fire, whatever town they're in, Kingston. whatever corner they're in. But they have such a, I think it's insecurity too, but the whole point is, is that they just kill their whole career. And a lot of times people wonder why, um, you know, certain artists don't go anywhere. And when you when you interact with the artists and their team, and sometimes it's the team and not the it's artists, the I want to be clear, right? Sometimes the, the, sometime the artists, it's not the, artists. the team, then you clearly understand why nothing is ever manifested from this talent. If, look at it that way, if you is an artist, or you are you is a personality, if you in a situation where everybody look up to you, who you look up to? If, if you take care of everybody around you, who take care of you? So you don't want to be around yes man. I know a lot of artists. And I can tell you that the, the management side of things, in a like dance hall, it's extremely unprofessional. Some, but the man them young, them are grow. You are gonna see the difference between the man them we are gonna learn because the man them are gonna learn the game. Is the ones who refuse to learn are gonna remain unprofessional. Because what I realize is, if they have, if there's an artist, then we have ten man we follow behind them, and then them delegate responsibilities to them ten man day. That is the worst thing. Will those 10 men have your best interests at heart? That I want. And how those 10 men talk about you to other people, that is going to be the image. So if you reach late and the person is like, yeah man, the boss say, all him need a champion. If the champion are there, the boss now nah, forward. Them look at thing there. Like, who is the person's booking email? Well, like, but hold on, I just want to, talk, things. I want to talk about the yes man culture, right? What I've noticed is that male groupies uh, uh, exist across cultures, right? But, Jamaica, uh, but the Jamaica male groupie, Farai, 
is steroids. That, yeah, and uh, why is that? Fuck, you've been on both sides. Remember? I never, I never been a groupie. Yeah. But if it's one thing, me can tell you, me don't know where it come from. But you have some man who just love follow back a one other man for like no reason. And it's, it's, the, the thing I don't understand is that yes, you may get like a free lunch or not even clothes, but it's just like. You yourself are like doing nothing. Like you just wait on this person hand and foot this every day. This person is your whole life. And you get what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm talking about grown men fire. 30, 40, 50, 60 year old men still walking behind people. Yeah, like the man them have like a cult. Me, me look at it as like a cult. Because like, if me I go, go somewhere, say me I go somewhere. One, me not like a bugger man. You never see me around a bugger man. And... Recently, I've been a lot of people, more people I know just me now on the road. Yeah. And one, me so used to being by myself. So when people like reach me, me heal them up on them, on them thing there. But it I get to a point where me I say, John, oh, like, me I wonder if me safe. Yeah. So, say me I go Miami, if me know like a brother, like a bodyguard or whatever, say me I go like a Jamaican party. When we know, say, all right then, because the difference with a comedian and an artist, you know, a lot of these um, so-called artists at Jamaica, they will look down upon like a social media personality. When probably seven times out of the ten, way more people know me than, than an average artist. But they don't look upon it like that. I used to look upon it like, yo, if me see, if me, me used to look at like, oh, me don't want nobody to come on the road with me because it's like a look hype. Yeah. Which me don't want ever see like that. Me don't want ever look like that. But if me have a bridging and I say, yo, all right, me need one security, me can pay you and we go to a party or whatever, me would do that. Me not have a million man. And me not go there on nobody we can hold them on because me not mind no man. Because me no, me no frightened, so me not go go out uh, like one buy a bottle. Me prefer buy a buy one drink for myself, cause he's not a drinker like that. And me understand the value of money, and me understand so nobody now pay my rent, and me have my car note for pay. Yeah, yeah. Me listen to me. Me have a S class. I have, to pay that, I have to pay that payment every month. I live in a nice, nice apartment. I have pool, gym, jacuzzi. I need to maintain that life. Yeah, I like look, I like watch. I have Rolex, I have AP. Nobody now make me lose. When me have overhype, over pride. So the 10 million man thing now will work. I mean, I take care of 10 million man. And if I go out with some people, I'm a real friend them. And them have them own. If we are going to buy a bottle, we do it together. Nobody now mind nobody. So, me will never operate like an artist, because he's not an artist. Me never try, me never even try music before. I just know my thing that. The artist operating thing is a Jamaican culture where they need 50 man behind them. Me understand it for some of them because of the music, the background. Maybe them are some people in a beef or whatever. But the man them were there on them, me I tell you this straight up. If 20 men there on them, it costs them more than if I had two big black bodyguard. But yeah, there's, there's one thing I want to add to what I learned is that, and I've seen this personally, is that more than other cultures that... We love our artists. The badness kind of... <laughs> search for artists in a sense so say because where you come from an area you may be to yourself and i have no connection with nobody mm -hmm. but once you bust they just like hanging around like the gangster themselves are groupies mm -hmm. and it turned into a problem because due to your association they do something and your name came out so like, your name get called unless, it's, man. <laughs> unless like and it's very hard i think too because insecurity play a, a role because you really wasn't getting attention before now people rate you now you start finding yourself around people you weren't before and it turned into a problem. I noticed You turn into a problem. All right. I noticed the strong ones stay to themselves 
and they stay out of problems. But when you mix and mingling with people, that's where the problems come. Yeah, because honestly, there's no man who don't have an ego. You have to have an ego if you are successful. You have to believe in yourself. And you have to bet by yourself who live. So, egos will clash. So some man ego bigger than some, and some man have ego for no reason at all. So you know, him, some man want elevate themselves to the point where yo, me are the man, yeah, me can get all of them girls they're right, just so me can have ten man around me, and ten of them must have machine. And but at the end of the day, that no, that no do nothing. Like it's not even sustainable. That's it the next one thing. it not sustainable. And if I shot fire, all of them gone. All of them gone. No, them them not really defend you. But some of them are the man them environment, you know. Me preachers every day. You see the you are you're a product of your environment. But you have to come off of that shelf there. Like if you're rich, if you are an artist of Jamaica and you make a money, move go uptown. All if you have to pay rent, start have some uptown friend. Make them tell you say you sell out. Cause them same one will come kill you. You can take care of them, you can visit. But you can't be, you can't still try to live like the man them. So my time, the art, so my time, what I realize right now, you will see, you, you will see an artist and an entourage and even know the artist is different from the entourage. You can't even see him at the artist. Him pants damn body. Him, him, him face bleach out. Him, him look like him and I see him close as the man them. Him even stand out. Yeah, say yo, what for him purpose? Me can't, me can't do their life there. Her life there does nothing for me. Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird, the, the groupie thing as I said, black Americans have it, don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. But Jamaica take the title with this following behind people, yeah. My like general. God and all these my things. Bridging, pro, my, my bridging do the best impersonation of that. Yeah. So remember my friend, Valdemore. Yeah, yeah. Him call, um, the Ski Mask character. Yeah, yeah. That is the perfect depiction of how man follow back an artist. Because Valdo have a crew, you know, it's a crew of them. But none of them now follow behind each other. Because all them are friends. So when them do that, then they might joke. But the follow back a man thing, that is a pandemic within itself at Jamaica. Yeah, man, you have man, you have man at Jamaica where born for just follow back at somebody. And it's insane to me, like, what, what you want for yourself? Like, if me, I go follow back at somebody, me I tell you from now, a something him have, a something there is knowledge where me can gain from being around that person, where bigger than the money where him can offer me. Last thing on this topic, I want to say in their defense, though, we have to acknowledge the education level of some of these people, their rational ability and insecurity, because they really feel, no, serious thing, they feel fulfilled. Like, I've seen situations where a man live in a zinc fence, he'll meet you at a session, and he just feel like the biggest person in the world to be at the side of the stage or to stand next to you backstage. Mm -hmm. And there's no benefit to this man not doing that. That a theme fulfillment. It, and it, it's a sad, it's a sad reality. But that is that is the reality for many. It's just like they they literally, it's like like you will have a goal in life, right? But Whatever it's for it artists. is. It's only for <laughs> artists. It's and, and, only for and, artists. And killers too, though. Yeah. yeah. Bolt not have groupie. Yeah. Bolt have him friend them around him. Bolt are the perfect example of a man where when you make it. Keep the circle small and keep it moving. All of my old friends make it to them. I don't see both with them, like, all of them, all of the money we both make it with, they make it. Uh, but remember, the artists, them, no fight time, the money we around them, and them friend them with them grew up with. If me make it, I not like left my friend them. Can't look like that. But if me make it, me have to try get my friend them established in a way where where all we can at least look good or look presentable kevin art all of kevin art friend them good and put them in a good positions 
um, me have, there is examples with people from Jamaica where put them friends in a good position. No, the thing is, the artists them have a bag of man around them were hungry. Him not teach them to be better. And some of the time, them man they would their own some artists. And the artists them a hold them down. And them not realize say, all you have to do to make it is just step out from the artist the shadow. And you are going alright. Because enough, enough of the man them where you see a groupie, secretly them want to be artists. But then you got to factor in the grudge for people too, for it's a weird environment now. Yeah. That's well, music, music, <laughs> you know music have a lot of up and down, and yeah. music bust Jamaica, bust you and unbust you. Because it's, it's weird in the sense that you have so much red eye people in a circle, you know. It's just a weird, it's just a toxic culture. And I'm glad for those who see it and move accordingly, put themselves in a good position. But too many careers have been destroyed because they got too much groupies around them, yeah.